characters in Smash history. But the problem is this. He's booty in this game. You know, yeah. not not as good as what he used to be, but Fatality is not booty. And that's the weird thing. So it's like a character that's pretty okay versus a phenomenal player. What happens when you slam them together? Yeah, Falcon players are definitely getting a lot better with their confirms, with their combo game. A lot of Nair 1. Yep. Very important combo starter. Yes, combo sir. extender. Of course, there's a bunch of different instant double jump setups on platforms as well with these up airs. So we'll see if Fatality can string all the tech together and showcase the combo game here against Bowser. I'm scared of this. Yeah, Sakana on the Bowser here. Ooh. Okay. Uh -oh. Ugh. 47. Quick ones right here, but here comes a grab from Fatality right into the dash attack. Set up this offstage situation. There's a shield grab off the get up attack. String together some up airs. Oh, three, if you will. Three, if you will. Try to go for the drop down back. You're probably anticipating him trying to reset at the ledge, but that's okay. Up air. Okay. All righty. Try to end the stock right here, right now. But the flame breath going to rack up quite a bit of damage. Nair almost fully connecting there. Could have been even more damage. There's the up air to the Nair. Okay. Guys, nice. he's going to go for the downer, not even give him any time to think about recovering back to stage. This is actually not the worst spot to be in in the world, okay? If you're playing a character like Bowser, Bowser has a lot of tools that they can use to get up underneath Captain Falcon's skin. Oh, knee right in the back. Thank me for the damage. Ah, night another one, boy. We need him for the damage out here. Free. Oh, there's the stop. Ooh. Try to get the knee. Oh, gets the grab. Pick up off the platform. Tech chase here. Trying to line up the dunk. No, goes for the backer. Tries to call out that double jump. That's right. Oh, man. Nice. Captain Falcon. Fatality is in his bag head right now. If you're ever wondering and worrying about Captain Falcon and Fatality and what he was going to bring to the table, you can worry no more. He is doing the damn thing here. Oh, the up air. Catch the air dodge. Almost gets that up tilt. That would have spiked if it was off stage. Oh, into the knee. Almost. But, There's man, taking 88 for that? Jeez, I what know. a punish. Jeez, man. Make a bounce like it's oh, light as a no. feather. <laughs> Look at him, man. Just man. <laughs> this dude, is hot. He's insane. That was a disrespectful knee, man. Just came on down and was like, I'm hitting the three sock with the style, with the knee to the face. I'd like to see more short hop forward air from Bowser. Yeah, I think it's yeah. one of those moves where, you know, it's not super duper fast. It's like frame 10 or 11 is quick. But, you know, it's enough right there to kind of, again, like kind of like we talked about with Link earlier in the block. Like, it's just one of those moves where if you see it so many times, like, okay, he's doing this. I need to readjust what I'm doing. I don't want to get hit by this. And he uses, he's using it as a way to cover space, especially if Bowser stays towards the middle. He's, like, yeah. right up underneath one of the platforms in the middle of Battlefield. You can't drop down on top of that. You don't want to jump above it. You don't even want to be heads up with it. All right, so kind of got those uh, confirmed, especially at the early percents here. Try to get the center with the dash attack. Here's the up, the out of shield. Getting the flame breath here. And the first stock wasn't looking that bad for Scott. Oh, oh, and even better shoot. here for this game, number two. Actually going to get the lead, catching the roll with the up smash. That's right. I think he's realized I got to keep these reptile feet on the ground. Ugh, big boy season. What's up? It's warm out. Oh, yeah. And that, Ugh. that command grab. And there's the fairy you're talking about. A lot of nares, a lot of fairies that control that airspace. And the edge guard there, that is going to be the stock, the drop zone, the fair. Sakana is coming to life here in this that, game number that two. That quarter is so good, man. That made me start coughing. I couldn't breathe for a second. Damn. <laughs> oh, oh. Damn. Uh, knock the wind out of you? Man, knock the wind out of me. Damn, I couldn't breathe. Okay, forward air again. Oh, Tummy. Man. Tummy oh. time. Can you make it Tummy back? Tummy time. Can you make it back? Wow, Sakana answering back in a big way. That first game was a three stock, and... I think Vitaly was kind of snoozing there on that game number two. I don't know what happened. He was just he was snoozing in the what's what's the name of his car, the Falcon, right? The whatever. Oh, the. Uh, he was asleep at the wheel, man. Hey, man, what is that? What is this car called? <laughs> Somebody in the chat's gonna be like, it's called Blue Falcon the, or something. Blue Falcon, like man. Blue Falcon, Rod and Charles. I know the uh, the stage is called Big Blue, right? Big Blue, that's right. That's, that's the right, stage, that's right, that's but right. I don't know if that's the name of this car. I got the stage, guys. All right. That's right. You gotta <laughs> at least give us that. Yeah, Falcon feels more of a Smash character than anything nowadays. <laughs> man, he really, man, facts. R.I.P., man. We're going to get another F-01 day, I promise. Fatality is eyeing this young man down. He's like, yo, wait, pick the, pick the character. Pick <laughs> oh, the man. stage. Pick the stage. Let's go. Tad looking antsy to get into this game number three. He is tight. He's like, yo, what you taking so long for? <laughs> I, like I said, Sakana got those confirms, those low percent Bowser confirms. Those 0 to 60s were clean. Mm-hmm. Facts. On a character like Bowser. Yes, that's right.
That's right. I feel like, you know, Captain Falcon's kind of a kid in the, in, in the candy shop when it comes to, you know, comboing Bowser. I mean, a lot of his stuff that... I mean, it's already airtight because of this efficiency that is Fatality, but now you right. have even more of a luxury for some of your combos because Fal Falcon's going against such a big body like Bowser. But, right. um, again, you know, Falcon is not without his flaws and his weaknesses as well, too. The biggest one, of course, being that offstage presence. That forward air, I said it before when the match started. Say it again. I got to see more of that. Forward air, great combo starter at low percent, great combo finisher. It pushes you off stage. Mm -hmm. Falcon don't want no parts of that, man. And you're hitting, all, you're hitting a lot of check marks with that forward air, Rod. You really are, bro. That's the Yo. great thing. Uh, you said what? I actually don't know. How many? Okay, so the players right now, just a little curious on that the amount of stages banned here. So, again, the action or the answer from production or the TO here. That's right. Answer some questions here. We want to make sure all the rules are upheld That's here right. at MomoCon 2023. Competitive integrity. Free. We Number two, next to health, right? Next to, and health is first. That's right. Because we don't, we don't, we don't play that funny stuff here. Okay, they'll throw your ass right up about this con, bro. I've seen it. I'm saying you gotta remember, man. We, we've actually seen it. The security <laughs> here is black. Okay, do that information as you must. Okay. They will throw your ass right about this tournament. We in Atlanta, bro. Y'all better act like y'all been somewhere. And you see, on the bottom there, all of our amazing partners. Make sure to check them out. Always supporting. Big, big things here at MomoCon 2023. Of course, the main one being Crystal up on the top there. Let's go, Crystal. That's yes, right. It is crisp out here. 404 Esports, of course. We're taking it all the way down to a local level, too. We got spawns at a grassroots level, Ooh, an grassroots. industry level. Trust me, we got you covered right here. Let's go ahead and get it. Game number three here is upon us. Fatality went in one. Sakana went in the other. It's looking good right now. Flamethrower, Hot Cheeto Breath, what's up? Yeah, we'll see if Fatality can get the combo game a little bit more Air Ugh. tight here because of Bowser. I mean, these bigger characters, their hurt boxes are just bigger, and on top of that, their air dodges are a little bit slower as well, right? So I would have to agree with that. These yes, combo sir. characters, like you said, get in the candy shop. It's time. That's right. It's time but to I got to give it to Bowser as well too. Some of the things that Bowser struggles against versus, uh, you know, Falcon. Falcon kind of struggles against as well too. Falcon is not a small target. You get Falcon off his feet, you can beat the absolute crap out of him as well too. And Bowser has a little sauce in some of these earlier percents. You don't want to trade with Bowser either. Yes. Yeah, stage. There's the directional air dodge. Oh, the reverse. Okay. Oh, sneaky. Fatality. Yeah, try to get the reverse up. The trade is actually enough there onto the up B. And now, I mean, we just see both these players going so ham off stage because he got it, right? Fatality on that Falcon. Falcon, not the most reliable recovery. No, We've absolutely. We've seen Sakana not. really just go out there with the side B or even those airs, right? Oh, with the double. Sheesh. Come here. They a great movement, but grabbing you. Command grab, of course, showing him a lot of justice here in this matchup. Those few moments where Fatality's standing still and just maybe trying to bait out something. Just walking up and seeing what he's going to do. Command grab kind of covers that distance, man. I feel like Bowser, I think Pivot oh, grab, oh my damn. No. I feel like Pivot grab might actually be a larger grab than regular. I might actually look that up real quick. Does Pivot grab cover more space than regular grab with Bowser? Yeah, yeah okay. So yeah, we're probably going to see a little bit more of that too in some of these later exchanges. Yeah, the pivot grab is nice too because it's a retreating option, right? You get a bigger grab hitbox, but man, that was a very fortunate confirmed there for Fatality. That okay. up air into the, uh, the dunk. Oh, oh, I think, yeah, facts. I think he wanted to go for a ledge trump back air or something right there. He kind of missed his opportunity, his window. I smell, I, smell a, I smell a knee coming, Charles. I think that's what that smell is. Uh oh. Oh, there's a charge on the up smash there. Vitaly looking for this opening, maybe the need to end the game here. He's kind of still needing two stocks off the board here. Fatality going, oh, there's the knee. Oh, there's the trade. And is it enough? No, great. What Actually, the? reversal on the edge guard there for Sakana. Got a lot of damage here, but you are about to really heavy, so you can take a lot of these hits here, and you just need a couple oh. to get back into the game. Okay, now I, I might want to retract my statement from before. Bowser is a character that you might Looks be okay trading there. with if it's back here on Captain Falcon. Still alive. He's living 192%. You tried it. Don't ever try to go for the reverse. There's that board air. No way. Uh, Two Cheeto four breath. airs. Oh, man. Try to go oh, okay. with the Trump. Took the chance there. Fatality buffering that option, getting off the ledge. Immediately was able to get back more towards the center of the stage quicker. Yes. Able to get that backer to close it out. But man, Sakana. Yeah, such a small window too for ledge trap. I appreciate the attempt, but felt like you know you might want to you might would have want to went for something that you knew was actually going to be guaranteed at, at that you know yeah. situation because you're cooking. You know, 
You got that raise on your behalf. A lot of the options that Captain Falcon usually uses to KO you is not working. That right there is all kind of stacking up on, you know, fatality mentally. Like, man, I can't kill this guy. He could kill me in three hits. But back here gets the job done. Yeah, and Sakana there could have gone into, like, let's trump back air, let's trump down air. I think we saw the down air there. Yes. And that down air spike would have done it. It's a pretty powerful spike, especially if Fatality had no double jump. So Hard agree, hard agree. Oh, we'll bring out the fragments of Sar. We're on Paulo Bastion here for this game four. And Sakana losing that game three, but uh, oh. my goodness, was it close. Man, it really was. I love the way Sakana starts off the match, too. I mean, he's not, they're not like a, a quiet player by any stretch of the imagination. I feel like, you know, when the match says go, he's like, let me create myself a small gap. You know, if I don't attack fresh out of the gate, I don't want to play the long game versus Captain Falcon. He does beat me in the speed department. Oh, look at all that chip damage. Falcon, you get your hel helmet melted. Get off the, get off the <laughs> ledge, my boy. Yeah, that, that helmet getting real hot here. And here is the up air strings. Uh -oh. oh, tries to go for the nair to fan out here. And great stuff from Sakana. And I mean, when you're able to return the damage on that edge guard with the up B, it's going to make a real big difference here. Practically even in percents. And here's the command grab. Tummy. Yeah, I love the command grab too. It just, it just stops. It's, it's such a, a movement and mo uh, mo momentum killer, excuse me, yeah. with, um, you know, with Captain Falcon. I feel like Captain Falcon just gets the luxury sometimes of just dancing around and jumping around, just pretty much to his heart's content. But when that command grab comes out, it's like, oh wow, you really caught me. All right, like I gotta, I gotta think twice on how I'm gonna do this a second time. And it's pretty crazy at this point in the meta, we're seeing Bowser in tournaments with success. Yeah. I mean, we even think about Hedo in yeah. Japan. A lot of success with the Bowser was able to get winner side top eight at Kaga DB10. So, I mean, just this this character coming back into relevancy, pretty amazing here in Sakana, kind of imitating that, trying to bring it here to Momocon 2023 with his own style of Bowser. Yeah, and I feel like it's paying off dividends for him. I mean, bringing something a little different to the table. Of course, yeah. there's some very template things you have to do with all characters, but there's always enough window of opportunity there for, to make that character personalized, like, you know, to your standards. And mm -hmm. I think, you know, Sakana is certainly doing just that. Has a lead here, and this is a pretty solid-sized lead, all things considered. Now, oh, Tomahawk, though. Come here. Not hitting the tech chase, the forward tilt, creating the offstage situation that Sakana wants. Flamebird, no, just gonna go for that angled down four tilt. Great for two framing. And we see the main KO options for Sakana. Ooh. It's gonna be that forward air. Oh my goodness. Great DI coming out from Sakana there. Okay, it's looking pretty good here. F tilt, of course, a strong option. We've seen that put on some solid what percent. How? How did he have magnet hands? The hands weren't even out. The spacing there, knowing Fatality wants to go for that dive, and now immediately pulling the trigger on the upbeat. The mix-up on these recoveries is keeping Sakana alive and keeping this lead alive, but for how long? Because Fatality has been racking up so much damage. That's right, an empty jump off stage to kind of freak him out, but yes, another command grab drops the stomach on him. 144%, we have seen the success that Sakana was given when the percents were later on at the end of that last game, but Fatality's time not in the camp of repeating history. Uh-oh. No double jump here. Oh, and that oh, is not going to be the way nasty. you want it to end. And even Fatality shaking his head at the end there. Sakana using the double jump, maybe forgetting about it. Maybe it slipped. Maybe Sakana thought you're going to end back onto the stage or maybe going to grab the ledge there. But whatever happened, it wasn't good. No, it was not. I got to give the adjustments to Sakana, though. Not to say that, you know, fantastic Fatality did. adjustments. Fantastic. You know, Fatality played very well. I mean, there, of course, there has to be a level of adjusting when you're playing a character like Captain Falcon. And of course, you're also yeah. winning. So obviously, you're adjusting on the fly. But I feel like, you know, some of the, the spots that Sakana found himself caught in, um, you know, electing to, you know, lean more into forward here. You know, I right, think he tried right. to play a, a bit of a slower paced game at the beginning of game one and realized, you know what? Forward air covers a lot more space than Captain Falcon's going to be able to use to, you know, get in on me and cover. Mm -hmm. Let me just start forward air when the match starts. And then even later on at the end of that second game, was able to actually get up underneath Fatality and go for a couple forward airs as well, yeah. too. And you know, I loved his, you know, his utilization of arrows, especially in conjunction with getting Fatality off stage. But unfortunately, just a day late and the dollar short right there. Yeah, unfortunately on that lead to that second stock, Fatality really turned up. Yes, and yes. And Sakana was able to recover, but man, it, you, you recovered at a price. There took so much damage taken, and Fatality was really able to hone in on that.